remembering Morris Jones. Here I am, I'm coming in. This is the Christmas miracle, and the camera's rolling. Oh, he's rolling camera. Hey! hey. hey. It's Morris Jones, Morris Jones, Jones with the Mojo Cam. Long time no see. Nice to see this. Oh, oh, oh. Burbank. He's taking pictures real of video he's taking here. Rob Spivak. Hi there. That's too tiny. Wow. <laughs> okay, now it's recording. Hey. See? That's cool. Hi, look everybody over, in Washington. Look over at Buzz. Hi, Buzz. Okay, Mike, and then, taking video of Morris oh, Jones. Yeah, and you and you and Rob, you're good. <laughs> no, here. You can't put that on TV now. Anyway, that's uh, some memory there, a memory there of uh, <laughs> uh, Morris Jones. Uh, how you doing, everybody? It's Dave TV for the second of, of June 2016. Um, what can I say about Morris Jones? Um, I've been running DCR TV for almost 20 years, mm, and. Uh, you get to know a lot of people in the local broadcasting business, radio, TV, whatever, but Morris has been one of the closest. He's he's one of those guys that, you know, you can call him on the phone at any time. You can, he'll take you out to lunch. You, you, you know, he's just a really nice guy. Um, sends your Christmas card every year. Um, dude, I got st just had a uh, breakfast cheesy sandwich. I think I got something in my beard there. Anyway, anyway, I don't know. It goes way back. I think it goes back to the Don and Mike days. Now, that video is from Don and Mike's show back on WJFK 2004. It's been a clear. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. Anyway, so I think, uh, you, know, um, you know, we would listen to Don and Mike and all that stuff. And, and Morris was on there. And Morris and Don and Mike always talked about me. And then that kind of, I think, brought us all together. And then um, this was, uh, oh, this was what, 2000 and somewhere around that same time, 2003, 2004, Morris Jones there in the center and uh, Walt Starling, the late great uh, airborne traffic reporter on the left and me, of course, chunky, fat me on the right there back when I was uh, eating a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of pies. <laughs> anyway, um... Morris Jones, um, I think uh, if you live in the Washington area, ooh, look at the shadows on that. If you live in the Washington area, you probably remember Morris Jones from Channel 5. He worked at Channel 5 for something like 18 years, and he was big there. He was one of the top dogs at Channel 5. He was, you know, one of the main anchors of their 10 o'clock news. I guess this was primarily in the 80s, maybe into the 90s. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, Tracy Neal. He and Tracy Neal were kind of like the top anchor team at Channel 5. And um, yes, that was in the mid 80s. Mid 80s to early 90s. Um, he got there just in the last days of the station being owned by Metro Media, and they were getting bought by Fox. And, and But that was a good time for him, and, and he did very well there. And then over the years, he you know, he left Channel 5, and you didn't hear much about him here in the Washington market. He eventually went up to Baltimore and worked for Sinclair. Okay? Sinclair has this thing called News had this thing called News Central. And he was the head at running on that. And what they would do is they have hundreds of stations or thousands, dozens, millions, billions. They have many stations across the country and they would have local newscasts on them and he would do this uh, they would do like uh, something from Baltimore that would be local like so he would like pretend to do or he would do like the uh, news for Boise, Idaho from Maryland. Hi, this is 
Morris Jones, here's the news from Boise. I don't know, something like that. And it was kind of a way of uh, Sinclair trying to cut the budget or whatever. And Anyway, he did this news central thing, and he told me that, uh, that a lot of people actually thought he was at those local stations. So they would say, they would email Morris and say, oh, it's so nice to see you here in Boise. You know, where he really isn't, he was in Baltimore. Anyway, he did that for a while, then then Sinclair pulled the plug on that operation. And then he went down to do uh, one of their, he was their DC correspondent there for Sinclair when they did some national news. If there was a national news story, he would do a stand-up <clears throat> that would be shown on Sinclair stations. Anyway, he eventually ended up over at All Britain here in Washington, which had News Channel 8 and Channel 7, and he was mainly a News Channel 8 anchor, okay? He was doing a lot of stuff on News Channel 8. And then, of all things, who buys News Channel 8 and Channel 7 but his old employer, Sinclair? So, there he is. He's, uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, so Morris, let's see if I can get that, uh, some more pictures of Morris here. Let me flip this around. There we go. Let's look at some pictures of Morris. This is a fairly recent picture. There's Morris. Uh, what is this? Somebody told me his real name is Maurice. And uh, they, I think they just said, there he is. This is back on the, this is the Channel 5 days. It looks like a kid show, doesn't it? That's that Sue Palk in the middle there. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah, this is Channel 5. His real name, I think, is Maurice or something like that. There he is. There's the, there's a freeze room. There's the Don and Mike Christmas Miracle back on WJFK when they were in downtown, beautiful downtown Fairfax. And there he is doing the uh, White House beat or the DC beat there at the... And there he is, I think that's in Denver, isn't it? He's from Denver. He's a, he's a Denver native. So there you are, Morris Jones, Maurice Jones. Anyway, um, so yeah, then he came and worked at uh, News Channel, I think it bought by Sinclair. And so, uh, you know, hey, <clears throat> um, so what, why is he leaving? Why is he leaving? Um, well, uh, we hear that uh, Channel Sinclair did have a contract. They, they did give him a contract extension, and he turned it down. That's basically the story. Now, what that contract extension was, I don't know. <laughs> was it a good contract extension, or was it not a good guy? I don't know. Anyway, they did offer him a contract extension, and he said no. He'd rather do some other things. So, uh, what will Morris be doing? Will he be staying in the Washington area? He might be. Uh, will he be, you know, will he go to another station? He could, I guess. I don't see that happening. You know, the, the, the TV business now is so youth-oriented. And, you know, Morris, while he is a very good, youthful-looking man, he's, you know, getting up there in the age for a TV anchor dude. Um, um... I don't know. You know, he says he's got some things lined up with some various high-tech companies and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, you know, we shall see. He also hosted Government Matters, which was a show that was on um, on Channel 7 there on, on uh, Sunday or Saturday, Sunday mornings. Yeah. So anyway. So Morris Jones, um, you know, one of the friendliest guys I have ever known. And, you know, it's very rare, you know, that uh, somebody in the TV business would be so friendly with a lowly blogger like me, even though I do wield an incredible amount of power. <laughs> All right, Morris. Cool guy, cool cat. Good luck for the future. And uh, onward and upward with your career. Thanks for watching. Dave TV, June 2nd, 2016. Bookgum, Dano.